Hey, what's good, y'all? You know, too much good media can be bad. And what I mean by that is I can look at certain athletes in the sport of boxing where they're getting a lot of good promo, um, all kind of highlights put together on the fighters. Um, a lot of times the guys is put, they're putting up videos, they're talking good about them, they're talking about how, how uh, great they are, right? And then you have um, maybe minimal criticism where the negative headlines or the criticism won't make, won't hit mainstream, you know? Um, and I think that uh, this could be damaging to certain fighters, you know, professional fighters, because you got to be able to, to handle criticism along with the compliments, man. You really do. Otherwise, um, you're not going to be able to handle when someone says something negative about you. Um, you might go in hiding, you know. Um, you know, I want to use Errol Spence as an example. Now, I'm not saying that this guy is hiding. I hope that the guy's alive and, and well, healthy and all that, you know, and recovering. Um, hearing a lot of different reports about it could be worse than what they reported. You know, it, it's just, um, I don't even want to want to talk too deeply on the actual crash and the injuries in, itself because um, at this point, man, it's just been so many lies surrounding Errol Spence to where I'm just tired, man. But at the end of the day, I want to use him as an example because I think it's a strong possibility that he could be emotionally and mentally damaged by the backlash of not performing at a super top level versus Sean Porter. Whereas, you know, I don't want to say he didn't perform at a top level, but he didn't get the result that he wanted, which was a man down. You know, he was supposed to just walk through Sean Porter bulldozer like some of these guys say and he just didn't do that you know a lot of people including myself felt he lost that fight and I think that might be on his mind that a lot of people feel he lost that fight a lot of people realize that he's not as uh, good as he thought he was and he might be embarrassed because this is the same guy that said he, you know Sean Porter was the easy road he told Bud Crawford why wouldn't I take the easy road and knock Sean Porter out and um, he just couldn't do it back to back fights he didn't knock out a lightweight, and then in this fight, he couldn't knock out Sean Porter and struggled with him and, and, and took a lot of damage in the process and then end up getting into a wreck where there's no, we don't even know the uh, ETA or, you know, uh, his the time of his return, you know? We don't know the, the time of his return back to the ring. But I think that this, like I said, this could be a case of him dealing with the backlash and just really not wanting to, to face the media, face the fans right now because he might be embarrassed by everything. And I believe this is a result of a lot of people giving him too much praise and not a balance. You look in any situation, if it's an athlete, you know, when I was um, coming up, you know, yeah, I did, I did some good things playing sports, but they gave me a balance. They was telling me, you know, good job, you know, but when I messed up, they got on my ass, you know, and um, fans, a lot of fans don't have that men that mentality because maybe they wasn't, you know, brought up in that type of situation where, you know, it's all about compliments and criticism, you know, whereas you got other people, they only want to just, you, they only want to hear good shit about themselves. They only want to hear the good stuff, but can't deal with the negative, you know, so I think that could be the situation here, man. We got to remember that these athletes are still human and don't mean that they perfect human beings man like they emotionally strong mentally strong and all of that yeah they might be physically uh animals but that don't mean that they're strong emotionally and mentally so sometimes they might take a loss certain people might criticize them and as a result they may have to go into a, a recluse mode man where they just um, stand to themselves and trying to you know heal from those uh invisible wounds man those unseen wounds from the, the criticism and, and, you know, the negative remarks and stuff out here in the media. So let's think about that going forward, man. Let's not just praise these uh, icons or these ad professional athletes that we admire. We got to give them criticism when it's time to. That way they can handle the criticism with no problem and not be shocked and surprised when next thing you know, uh, um, an army load of uh, media, a negative, you know, media comes in and now they want to go into retreat 
But that's all I got, man. Salute to everybody in the UDC. I'm the Black Horseman. Peace.